uh, last year he was seven to six season, went three and five in the conference. But it, it looks a lot worse than it really was because they really competed at a high level last year. And uh, he's in that sweet spot that I like, the fourth year coach um, coming in. But I guess he didn't do his homework, so he's only getting back four on offense, six on defense. But the four that he's getting on offense is uh, great because one is a great quarterback with the potential to shoot, maybe win a Heisman or something. If he develops any more than he was last year, last year I, I kind of considered uh, Jefferson as a disappointment. But um, – Coming into this year, if he's able to expand and and learn and get better and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, he may be able to. Continue. He has the likeness to compete for Heisman, so he could make it into that conversation at some point in time. Um, he brings in eleven transfers. Uh, maybe that'll offset, you know, what he got going on over there, uh, depending on the quality of the transfers that he bring in. But uh, he's been doing decent, nineteen and seventeen at. Um, at uh, I says Mississippi, but it's Arkansas. But uh, twelve and seven at home—that means a lot. That keeps your job. Four and nine away, got to prepare better on the road. So let's jump into his offense. Uh, I already gave up everything about it. But uh, yes, KJ Jefferson is returning. Last year, points per game ranked number thirty uh, at rushing because of uh, KJ Jefferson's big numbers. He puts up running the ball around the field. They were number five and passing. They were number 75, and passing is something that he's going to have to learn how to do a little bit better this year. What do you think about this offense, Big Red Well, Well, uh, I know Kendall Bryles, he's been kicked. I don't know. That guy, man, every time he lands somewhere, he winds up packing his bag, goes somewhere else. But, man, they were exciting offense to watch with Jefferson last year. So, you know, Dan Anus is now the new OC. So I don't, I don't know how it's going to pan out for the offense totally, you know, with the new look. But he's definitely talented. And uh, they got solid running game, and they were fun. They scored thirty plus points a game. Uh, their offense is very capable. I mean, especially when you get them up against lower level tier. Low, the thing I used to like about you know getting involved with Arkansas is um, they were always like an upset minded team when they were playing these bigger. Especially when they play like Bama, they seem to always play them tough. But anyways, when they're playing, you know, they're playing the lower level teams. You know, they just kind of have their way with them. But when they play the big name teams, they seem to compete. So this is a team that always is in the game in my book. So um, I think it's a value. It's going to be one of the value plays. Uh, offensively, I'm, the jury is going to be out for me right now. I got to see what Enos brings to the table and just kind of do a little bit more homework on this offense right now. I'm not, I'm the jury's out for me on the offense right now, but they're definitely talented. They got, they still got playmakers. So I'm going to see how it's going to play in Enos's uh, scheme. Well, um, with the running kind of being led by the RPO system and Jefferson using his feet, they'll run the ball decent. They're bringing back a, a solid O-line. Um, but on uh, defense, let's jump over to defense because on defense, they bring in a, a new DV, DC, Travis Williams, and uh, they also have a co-DC, uh, Marcus Wedson. So uh, the defense is where they needed a lot of help yeah, last year. Yeah, and uh, they're they're making advances towards uh, doing what they need to do on defense. So <clears throat> they brought in quite a few players over here um, last year. The defense were 101, ranked number 101 points per game, number 99 protecting. Uh, I mean, uh, defending the run, and uh, number 129 passing. So a lot of work to do on the defense. Um, the offense can kind of speak for itself, um, but they'll definitely have to keep the ball um, and, and in possession more on offense to give the defense a chance to get their legs under, under them. But, um, you know, it's just, they need some talent to emerge out of this defense, basically. Well, with, with those defensive numbers they gave up last year and the way the offense, you know, operated, they were they were always a good over over type team to play. So we'll see if that continues this year. But if they make the defensive adjustments and they slow the offense down, you know, maybe early looks for unders might be a, a, a good look for this team. Yeah, I had I had the uh I had the opposite. I had the overs. Because I could I, I I consider that uh Jefferson's gonna put the ball in the end zone, but I, I don't think they're gonna put this defense back together. I mean, it's too much movement going on. You got new new coaching, new scheme. You got all these transfer players coming in. Um, you know, 
it's not like basketball doesn't always take a little time for it to jail. Sometimes they can hit the ground running. But, um, you know, these guys got a pretty tough schedule. They play some big games, and it's going to be tough. So I think that they're going to have to try to outscore opponents to be able to win because that defense, even if you – I mean, you can't go from 121 to, you know, top 10 in one year. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. else. So they even if they fall ranked, you know, in the 50s or something, do a, a better job, you know, defending the run in the pass – um, that could be that could be good, but that's not always even good enough to contend at a high level. And they're in the SEC. These teams are good this year, so they got a lot of opponents that they got to face. Like I said in the other video, which now we in the right video, that uh, they got to face BYU, LSU, Texas and them, Ole Miss, and then Alabama all in a row. And they got to play at Florida and. Uh, with, you cannot count out Florida this year because Napier is doing a decent job over there. So what you think about it overall and, and on the defense, Big Red Blue? You know, like I said, with the defense, you know, that was that was uh, their biggest problem last year was, you know, big chunk plays, yardage, score, all aspects of defense, you know, just they were one of these teams like they started out hot and then they, they played it, like I said, they played a tough team – a little bit tougher, but then they'd have those big letdown spots too. So, and 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 that was part of, that was uh, attributed to the defense, definitely not the offense. So, I mean, even if they make, you know, if, if they imp improve the defense, you know, let's say they jump from the the one twenty spot to like say the 60, 60, 50 spot, you know, that's a big improvement in one year. You know, they uh, we always got to put them numbers against you know the value, the numbers of the line that we're looking at too. So. And, you know, when we start doing the breakdowns of those, you know, that, that plays out different. So I, I think they'll be improved, you know. A lot of moving pieces, like you said, but, you know, they they should make some improvements according to what I've read. So we'll see how that plays out. Well, let's take a look at what they got them at the win totem. They got six and a half um, on my preview. Um, earlier I had under six and a half, and I'm still there on the under six and a half. It's that plus money. Uh, if, if Jefferson goes down this team, it may get even worse than that. Um, yeah. But, um, you know, I, I like the under six and a half for uh, Arkansas. Here's a quick peek at the schedule. Um, they're coming in. Mercer, winnable. Tulane, winnable. Georgia Tech, winnable. Alabama, not so much. LSU, not so much. Arkansas, not so much. How do you get to play? How do you get up to play at Auburn? Oh, this is the wrong schedule. I, got, I, I do apologize. I am human. But I got the wrong schedule on that one. But um, like I said, under six and a half, I don't got the schedule on me right now, but it has the wrong one there. But um, that any yeah. last remarks on Arkansas? We we went over it. I'm I'm not perfect, people, but you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Ain't no best. big deal. <laughs> it ain't no big deal. Uh, yeah, just uh, they'll be. I think they're gonna kind of be like they were last year, with hopefully a little bit of improvement on the defensive side and. And, you know, we might trade something here. We might trade a little bit of defense for a little less offense. But like you said, you seem to think that they're going to push the ball down the field like they've been in the past. And me, I hope they do, but we'll see what happens. So I think that's going to be the trade off, maybe a little bit more on the offensive side, on the defense. And, 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 and it should have pretty close to the same result as they won like six games last year, I think, regular season. So, and, and the number is six and a half. So I think we see a similar season for Pittman this year. Like we did last year. Yeah. yeah. I think if you go if you run this back and listen to the whole thing, basically all we said in the whole thing is it's pretty much gonna be the same this year. Yeah. But let's take another trip up out of here. We're gonna go a little